In this tutorial, we are going to spice up your designs using the powerful combination of Framer and GSAP with a special focus on creating engaging text animations as your users scroll through the page. So let's jump right in. First, we need a text block and then we are going to apply this custom code to it. In our code, we are going to start by importing React, GSAP and specifically the scroll trigger from GSAP. This will help us to create a smooth and engaging text reveal animation as the users scroll through our page. Our component, text reveal, begins by creating a reference to the text element using React's useRef. The useEffect hook ensures that our animation runs when the component has been mounted. Next up, we are using the split type library to break our text into lines. This allows us to work with individual lines of text rather than the entire text block. We are filtering out any empty lines to focus on the filled content only. Now, here comes the magic. Our animation set up with GSAP. We are animating the background position of each line creating a reveal effect. This stagger property is adding a delay between each line. The animation is triggered as the users scroll through the designated range, providing a seamless experience. To enhance the visual effect, we are also styling each line uh, using CSS. We apply are applying a gradient background that transitions from white to a dark color. The background clip property is set to text, uh, creating a beautiful blend between the background and the text itself. This gives the illusion of the text revealing as the background moves. Now, here is our whole code, and what we need to do is we are going to override this code component for the text block that we created earlier. So we are going to select the frame and then come to the code override area and select our custom component that we just have created. And yeah, there you have it. A simple yet effective text reveal animation on a scroll using Framer and GSAP. Feel free to customize the code to match your project's design and style. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit that notification bell to stay updated. Oh, I forgot one thing. I have added the Remix file link in the description of this video, so you can get the code base really easily. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching, and... I'll see you in the next one.